Engraving at Craning Company epitomizes classic quality. The final product has humble beginnings. Here is a sheet of plastic film with the image to be engraved. From this point forward, highly skilled crane craftspeople add their own talents and expertise to ensure you receive stationery of remarkable beauty. Here we begin the process of transferring the image from film to a copper plate. Individual images, such as names or monograms, are placed on a photosensitive copper plate. The plate is exposed to intense light to burn the image onto the plate. For those of you who remember photographic darkrooms, this process is essentially the same. Special developing solutions bring up the exposed image just like a photograph. These solutions are rinsed away before further work can be done on the plate. Prior to etching, any minute imperfections resulting from the photographic processes are covered with opaque ink. The prepared plate is now placed in an acid bath that very precisely etches the desired image into the copper. Acid etching creates the fine line detail long associated with cranes engraved stationery. Any imperfections in the final engraved image are corrected by the fine eye and steady hand of this crane craftsman. The last step before going to press is cutting the copper dies down to their proper size. Because fine engraving is so precise, it takes several times longer to set up an engraving press than it does to print some smaller rotors. Here the press operator begins positioning the die in the press. The first image printed on the engraving press is used to position what's called a counter. The counter is a piece of cardstock that helps push the paper into the inked cavity created by the etching and also creates a noticeable bruise on the back of the paper, another signature of fine engraved stationery. Ink is placed in the press. These inks are completely opaque, allowing engraving to be used on all paper colors. The last test before the press starts engraving stationery is a final check to make sure the image is perfectly placed on the paper. After all these preparations, it's time to engrave some stationery. You'll notice that each piece of paper is precisely positioned in the press by hand. Thermography also offers a classic raised look, but through different means. As with engraving, thermography starts out with an image produced on film. 
Instead of being transferred to a copper plate, this film is cut to the proper size and goes directly to the press. Thermography uses a flat printing press. Here the plate is attached snugly to the press roll. Wet ink will be applied to the image area. As with engraving, a test is printed with positioning of the image checked precisely. Once the wet ink is applied to the paper, plastic powder is dusted on the ink and melted at high temperatures to create the raised image. Thermography inks are not entirely opaque, so they change slightly with the paper color chosen. Whether you've selected engraved or thermograph stationery, our highly skilled inspectors treat your order with last loving touches. Each order is inspected and counted by hand. If there are extra pieces of stationery produced, they're included with your order. And of course, if you selected cranes engraved stationery, your copper die will be yours to keep until you're ready to order the next time.